Hey y'all, so I just wanted to come do this quick video. Um, it was about my experience that I had at Sam's and um, Walmart um, last Saturday. I went to Sam's, and this is in Alexandria, okay? I went to Sam's in Alexandria last Saturday, and I did curbside pickup, okay? And to me, curbside pickup means, okay, you drive up, you, you check in the app, let them know that you're here, you drive up where it has the curbside pickup, and they come out and, you know, verify your information, and they bring your order and things like that. This location was different, okay? Um, number one... Not only that you check in into the app and you drive up, you have to get down. Once you drive up in the curbside pickup, you have to get down and go get your items yourselves. Mind you, they put your items in a crate and then they take the crate and they put it like on one of those, um, what you call it? Like those pallets or whatever. And you have to bring it yourself to your car. What is the purpose of curbside pickup? Because my understanding, you know, common sense, curbside pickup means you drive up and they bring your items to you. Not you drive up and you get down. Because if that's the case, I wouldn't have done curbside pickup. I would have just parked, went inside, get my own items and things like that. But whatever, that was another downside. And not only that, they had on their mask. You know, the lady that helped me, she was really nice. But it was just way different than the other location that I normally go to, which is in Lafayette. Um, and I'm from Louisiana, y'all. So it was just different because Lafayette, when, when I go to the one in Lafayette, when you do curbside pickup, you drive up, they verify your information, they pull up your order, and they bring them to you. Now, the only thing I don't like with both locations, they don't bag your items at all. They don't put nothing in the bag. That's another thing I don't like. So, I'm not going to do curbside pickup anymore at the Sands in Alexandria. I'll just stick to Lafayette. Um, but that was my issue. Second, I went to the Walmart in Alexandria. There are several, but I'm only going to talk about this one. Um, went, I, I got there early. And the girl who came to my car, she didn't have on a mask. I did grocery pickup like I normally do with Walmart. This girl did not have on a mask. But she was real nice, you know. She couldn't find my order at the time, but like I told her, I was early. So she was like, oh, yeah, well, they still, you know, bagging your items. They still handpicking your items. So I was like, okay, cool. Okay, while I'm waiting, um, I see a customer smoking, no mask. Then the Walmart associate that came out with her, items also didn't have a mask on so while he's bagging her items putting her items in the trunk she gets down and she helps him both of them did not have on a mask both of them didn't practice any social distancing so they talking in each other face okay that's nothing mind you the other walmart associate that comes out to bring my items she didn't have on a mask either and instead of she continued to come to me, she's standing out there talking to them, Kiki and Kakan with them. All three of them, no social distancing, all talking in each other's face. So now I'm pissed already. Okay. So now, and excuse me, y'all, my, my shirt, I got some stain on or whatever, whatever. Oh, it's eating spaghetti, whatever. So another, the, the first girl that came to me that was looking for my order, she had to come out and separate all of them in a nice way, but separate all of them. But she still didn't have on a mask. Okay, so the girl comes to me. 
Number one, I had an email saying something, you know, my items are out of stock. They substituted with something else. So by the time the girl came to me, she automatically asks me, do you want all your items in the trunk? I'm like, yes, but first of all, y'all have some substituted items for me that I don't want. You know, y'all supposed to ask me that. And I don't see you have your Palm Pilot because they're supposed to have that Palm Pilot to make corrections and things like that you know and to verify that's me or whatever well she didn't have that so she was like oh okay so what you had i said well i have the i ordered the spaghetti wheat pasta spaghetti y'all substituted for linguine i don't want that so she's like okay so i guess she couldn't understand me keep in mind she didn't have on a mask i had on my mask i had on my surgical mask and i had on a regular mask you know over it I was prepared, okay? So, she gets, like, in my window frame of my car. She gets closer as if she couldn't understand me, if she couldn't hear me. So, I'm I'm backing up at the same time, too. So, I had to check her. Y'all not supposed to be wearing a mask? Y'all not supposed to be wearing a mask? Oh, well, I, I'm sorry. Well, my, you know, mine had failed or whatever. I said, it doesn't matter. Okay, I said, I understand. But y'all still supposed to be wearing it. Right after I said that, she hurry up and she took her mask out of her pocket. So clearly, y'all know that y'all supposed to be wearing a mask at all times. And it's in your, in, it's in your pocket? It's in your pocket? So I'm like, okay... <laughs> Then the sugar, I ordered some sugar too. They try to give me sugar cubes. I didn't want that or whatever. So, okay, she's bagging my items and everything. You know, common sense. First of all, you know you're supposed to be wearing a mask. You know that. Y'all already have signs on the numbers where you're supposed to park saying how y'all practicing social distancing. Y'all limiting the contact. You trying to talk all in my face. What if I didn't have on a mask? And you coming all in my face like that trying to talk to me. You know what I'm saying? And granted, she was fat just like me. I'm fat. So I know how it is when it's hot and you wearing a mask and you, you walking and doing things like that. I know you, you can't hardly breathe with a mask, but still. You're still supposed to have on a mask as an associate. So then, she after she bagged all my items, she comes around to reassure me. So, ma'am, you don't want the linguine and stuff like that. Mind you, while she's holding the items... And she's reassuring that I don't want it. She has the spaghetti wheat pasta that I originally ordered that they try to say was out of stock. She had it in her hand. I'm like, ma'am, what you got in your hand that y'all told me was out of stock? That's what I that's what I want. She said, Oh, I'm sorry. Usually when we can't find it, we just um we have somebody else to go uh look for and they get it. So, yeah, I'm over it. I'm done with them. I ain't never going back there again. And I just have to give this rent. I'm done with all of them. Peace.